For anyone that wants the very fine details between these two computer mice, then well, unfortunately, this video might not be for you. But if you're an average consumer that's looking to upgrade your standard computer mouse, then this video is definitely for you. Don't get me wrong, because at first I was just like, it's just a computer mouse and I'm not gaming or anything, so how important could it be? I was wrong, obviously. I say that because once I started using the Logitech MX Master 2S, I was like, how have I been living without this? So I went from this to this, and now I have this. So I've had the 2S for probably about a year or two, and I just got the 3S, so I thought, why not do a comparison video? So let's get right into it. First thing I'm gonna talk about is the overall feel. These computer mice are supposed to be ergonomically friendly and I would say that they both are. As you can see, they are both similar in design and depending on how you hold your mouse will depend on how you like the feel. Personally, the small difference in button size doesn't bother me. But one thing I will say is that I like that they move these buttons from beside the scroll wheel to beneath it. Cause sometimes I would hit the top button on accident while trying to hit the bottom and vice versa. So having a distinct difference in space between the two is very helpful. If you look at the two, the 3S is technically taller and more narrow, but the difference is so small, you probably won't even notice cause I definitely did. All right, so let's talk about the buttons. Both of these have eight buttons total. You have your standard left and right click and six other programmable buttons or inputs. Three of those are on the side, two of them are on the top, and the last one is right where your thumb rests. On the bottom, they both have the ability to switch between three devices by pressing this button. And last but not least, there's the on off switch, which also has an auto off feature when enacted. Okay, one more quick thing I thought worth mentioning about the buttons is how loud the clickers are. Yes, here's the 2S. Hear that? 3S. You hear that? 3S is a lot quieter. Now, if we switch away from buttons, a few things to know are the battery indicator is located above your thumb on the 3S versus in front of your thumb on the 2S. Not a big change, but checking the battery on the 2S sometimes required me to move my thumb. I know that sounds silly, but you don't know until you have to experience it. Another difference regarding the battery between the 2S and the 3S is the cable. The 2S uses a USB to micro USB, while the 3S uses a USB to USB-C. The overall connectivity on the 3S is supposed to be better because, well, it's newer, and you also have the option to be, use the USB connection or you can use Bluetooth. Now the software used to program or customize those buttons is relatively the same and simple. The 2S uses Logi Options and the 3S uses Logi Options Plus. The difference between the two is the user interface and having predefined settings for a specific app that you frequently use like Google Chrome or Safari or Premiere Pro or whatever it is. Last but not least, I've seen and heard a lot of people say that despite the improvements from the 2S to the 3S, the size is still a problem. As I mentioned before, it's a comfortable feel when I use the 2S or the 3S. And here's my hand next to my iPhone 13 Pro Max for reference. So if you have small hands, then I would suggest checking out the MX Anywhere 2 or 3. I personally wanna try out the MX Vertical because it's a little bit different, but I feel like after using it for a while, it wouldn't take that long to get used to. The price for the 2S is currently 60 to 70 bucks, depending on where you get it from, while the newer 3S is $99. Quite a difference, but the 3S is newer, so that's probably why the price point is what it is. By the way, all the computer mice that I've mentioned in this video, the 2S, the 3S, the Vertical, the Anywhere 2 and or 3, are all listed in the description below if you wanna check those out. Overall, the MX2S hasn't disappointed me and the 3S so far has not either. I don't expect it to at all, but if you're using something similar or if you're using these exact mice, please let me know if you're using something different for whatever it is editing, gaming, whatever it is, I'd like to know just because I'm always open to more options. So please, please let me know. Don't forget to thumbs up bell. Hope you and the fam are doing well. <laughs>